Congratulations on your purchase of the CPSC compliant SR Smith Rogue 2. We've created this video to give you an overview and to aid you in the installation process. You can also use this as a visual aid by viewing on your mobile device during installation. Be sure to refer to the instruction manual that came with your slide for the exact measurements, procedures, and details. It is strongly recommended that at least three people assemble the slide to safely move it during installation. Let's get started. When your slide arrives, be sure to note all of the warning and information labels on the box before opening the package. Once you've opened the package, we encourage you to use the cardboard from the box to protect all of the slide's components from scratches or damage that could be caused by your pool deck. Take a minute to look through and inventory the hardware, materials, and recommended tools list to ensure that you have everything you'll need to complete the installation. It is important to inspect all of the gaskets on the slide to ensure that they are intact before you begin assembly. You can now begin to assemble your slide. Start with the two runway sections of the slide. Be sure to use the anti-seize lubricant on all hardware except the lag screw bolts. This symbol will appear each time the anti-seize should be used. A good tip to remember when assembling your slide is to always start the bolts and screws on the inside curves first, then move outward. Remember, do not tighten the bolts or screws completely until all of the holes line up and the bolts or screws fit properly. Once the runway sections are assembled, you can begin attaching the legs and ladder portion of the slide. Note the shorter leg goes on the inside curve of the slide. Use tape to secure the legs while you work on the rest of the slide's components. Now you can attach the ladder. Line up and slide the ladder into place using the guide slots. Use clamps to temporarily secure the ladder to the slide. Carefully turn the slide upright and temporarily remove the clamps to level the ladder. Review the manual for exact measurements for the slide. Drill the holes to secure the ladder. Don't forget to use the anti-seize on all hardware except the lag screw bolts. Level the exit portion of the slide after you've secured the ladder and place the slide in its permanent mounting location. Adjust the legs up or down before securing them to the slide to compensate for leveling. Attach the handrail as shown, making sure to use the appropriate hardware. Use Loctite 242 thread locking compound when securing all of the handrail fasteners. Once completely assembled, the slide can be attached to the deck. Please refer to the manual for detailed in-deck and on-deck mounting instructions. In this example, we are using the optional on-deck mounting kit that is sold separately for the Rogue 2. Place the slide in its final location and be sure to level the slide and set the angle of the ladder before attaching to the deck. Using the on-deck mounting flange as a guide, mark the holes for the pedestal. 
It's a good idea to use tape on your drill bit to ensure a proper hole depth. Drive the anchors in place according to the manual's instructions, then slide the flange down over the anchors. Again, ensure the ladder is plumb. Shims can be used for varying deck slopes. Contact SR Smith if shims are needed. Tighten the nut three to five turns to set the anchor. Remove the nut and install the lock washer before permanently tightening the nut. Follow the same procedures to attach the ladder portion of the slide to the deck. With the slide assembled, it's time to hook up the water system. Attach the hose clamps to the back of the ladder. It's a good idea to dry fit all of the plumbing pieces before gluing, so you can make adjustments accordingly. After you firmly glue all of the plumbing pieces together, you can attach the water system to the slide. Congratulations, you have just installed your new SR Smith Rogue 2. Enjoy and have some serious fun.